study the important concept in the analog uh, electronics that is called as uh, frequency spectrum so what we are going to study here uh, is the two important terms that is a uh, Fourier series and Fourier transforms so these two uh, these two uh, application are very used uh, in the analog electronics and they have their usage so Fourier series and Fourier transform they are used to represent the signal uh, it could be a voltage signal or a current signal uh, as a sum of the sine waves uh, with the different frequencies and amplitudes all right so that's the usage of uh, Fourier series and Fourier transform so we can use uh, we can have any signal uh, which is a voltage signal as we saw in the previous module or a current signal and we can use the Fourier series or Fourier transform each uh, to represent that signal in another form so what basically is the Fourier series if we have a signal that is a periodic function of time let's say this is the signal as shown over here and it has an amplitude VA uh, it is uh, starting with the time 0 and this signal uh, is Vs of t uh, which has amplitude of Va uh, and it has a time period indicated by t and it is periodically uh, varying as a function of time so this signal can be represented mathematically Vs of t equals Va sine omega t where Va is the peak value or amplitude of this signal omega is the angular frequency in radians per second okay t is the time and omega can also be written as 2 pi f where f is the reciprocal of the time t uh, which is a, a, a so frequency in hertz can be given in this form right over here so what Fourier series there if we have a signal such like this which is a periodically varying uh, with respect to time so we can represent such signal as a sum of sinusoidals several sinusoidals can be with different frequencies and amplitudes can be used to represent this single signal okay and Fourier transform on the other hand if we have a signal which is varying uh, arbitrarily as a function of time for instance let's say we have this signal again vs of t over here this is a time t in seconds and now the signal amplitude is varying uh, with respect to time in this fashion for instance so it's not a periodic function of time right it has a different amplitudes at different instants of time so if such signal is there so this signal can be represented in another form by means of a Fourier transform which represents the frequency spectrum of this signal okay so we can have such signal and we can represent uh, its frequency spectrum uh, to show that uh, how this signal is composed we can analyze this each component of the signals in terms of its frequency contents or let's say in other words we can uh, try to find out the frequency content of this signal so for instance how to apply the Fourier transform so let us say we are given this a square wave right over here and it has a amplitudes plus V volt and minus V volt so these are the peak values and it is alternatingly varying with respect to time and it has a time period T indicated by capital T okay and now we are uh, we are wanting to find the Fourier transform so Fourier transform of this waveform is given by this expression v of t equals 4 v where v is the peak value or amplitude of this square wave divided by pi uh, in bracket sine omega t uh, plus 1 by 3 sine omega 0 t plus 1 by sine omega t plus so on so what we can see is that how we derive this expression that is a separate topic we are not going to consider right here but if we study the Fourier transform there we can see how this equation can be obtained to represent this square wave form so as we can see that this single square wave is being represented by a sinusoidals different sinusoidals 
with different frequencies and they have these different amplitudes and what is to be noticed here at each frequency frequencies are omega 0 then we have 3 omega 0 then we have 5 omega 0 it should be 5 over here this is 5 omega 0 all right and so on uh, so at each frequencies the peak value of these uh, sinusoid decreases right over here it has a peak value of four, uh, 1 right over here this is a constant out of the bracket uh, this sinusoidal has a peak value of 1 by 3 this sinusoidal has a peak value of 1 by 5 so this is how we can see that uh, this and if we sum all the sinusoidals so then that is a representation of this square waveform okay so this is a function of uh, time and this is periodically varying so we can use the we can apply the Fourier transform to represent so in terms of frequency spectrum so here we see that this is the frequency spectrum of a square wave okay and what we see here at frequency omega 0 it has a component of 4 volt per uh, divided by pi at 3 omega 0 it has a component this one 1 by 3 multiplied by this constant at 5 omega 0 it has this component and at 7 omega 0 it has this component so this is how we can represent the, uh, the, the, the Fourier transform of this uh, waveform which is uh, periodically varying as a function of time uh, how about uh, we have this waveform let's say Vs of t and uh, this waveform is an arbitrary function of time so it uh, start with like this and then it has it passes through the zero okay right over here Uh, so this is a uh, Vs of t we are given like this and now we are asked to find the Fourier transform of this one all right so what is the Fourier transform of such a waveform this is not a periodic function of time rather it is arbitrary function of time so it means at a time at each time period at each time instant the magnitude is uh, constantly changing all right uh, so in such case such waveform can be represented by uh, uh, the Fourier transform by summing the infinite sinusoidals with different frequencies and amplitudes so in the, in such case the frequency spectrum of Vs of t which is nothing but a Fourier transformation so would be given by something like this is your omega which is rad per second and this is going to be the uh, amplitudes of omega at each frequency in volts all right so it would be something like this so we can have the infinite number of uh, sinusoidals with different uh, amplitudes at each at different frequencies and some of all these would be able to represent this signal like this okay